individuals that you've allowed to come into our lives. Pray now that you would use your servant to encourage uh, your people that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Forgive us, God, what we have wronged you. Help us to, better, to do better in order that we might have a closer walk with thee. For it's in the name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, we have encouraged you to join with us in the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. Yeah, yeah. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31. Uh, a very familiar passage of scripture, as we have all heard of the virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. This morning, we want to look and gain our thought from beginning with chapter 31, uh, verse 1. Chapter 31, verse 1 of the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 1 says, the sayings of King Lemuel, the sayings of King Elenuel, an inspired utterance, inspired utterance, his mother taught him. Inspired utterance, his mother taught him. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son, to answer. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers. Do not Spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. The utterances of his mother, that his mother taught him. This morning as we journey through Proverbs chapter 31, we want to talk from the subject, My Mama Told Me, You Better Shop Around. My Mama Told Me. You better shop around. All right. You remember, you remember that song growing up? Well, those of us who uh, a little older yeah, got a little that. gray highlight. <laughs> you remember that? Uh, those of who have a little gray highlight that, <laughs> that song. Uh, my mama, when I became of age, when I became of age, my mama called me to her side. She said, son, you're growing up now, and pretty soon you'll take a bride. Mm -hmm. And then she said, just because you become a young man now, there are some things that you don't understand now. Mm -hmm. Before you ask some girl for her hand now, keep your freedom as long as you can now. My mama told me that you better shop around. Ah, uh, there are some things that I want you to know now. Just as sure as the winds gonna blow now. Mm -hmm. The women come and the women go now mm -hmm. before you tell them you love them so now. My mama told me you better shop around. Mm -hmm. The song goes on and say uh, 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 try to get yourself a bargain son. Don't, so, don't be sold for the very first one now. A pretty girl comes a dime a dozen. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> a try to find one that's going to give you good loving. Right. My mama told me, you better shop around. That's good. That's good. And as we journey through chapter 31 of the book of Proverbs, it is a young king, a king by the name of Lemuel. A king by the name of Lemuel. And his mother is giving him some inspired utterances. His mother is trying to speak some sense into her young son, mm -hmm. trying to give some sense into her son, young son, son that she loved, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. son that she is concerned about. In fact, she goes over and over again trying to drill some truths into him. And you know that because she says three times, listen, listen, listen. listen. Listen, boy, I, I, I'm trying to tell you some things. Mm -hmm. And what she does in, in, as she writes to this boy, she tries to steer him clear of making some foolish mistakes, All right. making some foolish mistakes, and, and, and realizing that he now has a huge responsibility on his shoulders, leading and shepherding as a king that he has now a, 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 a nation that is looking up to him. Mm -hmm. That I don't want you to get derailed. 
I don't want you to get off on the wrong path, boy. In fact, in fact, don't get caught up in those hoochie mamas out there. Don't get caught up in those gold diggers who are out there. Don't get caught up in following the flesh, boy. In fact, in fact, he, he says there are many women out there. There are many women out there. And if you give a, and I don't want you to spend your time, your strength, your energy, your effort on a relationship that will be dead end. Right. In fact, as you journey through the book of Proverbs, there's a lot of written that about, about those adulterous women, those women that, that, that they can be pretty and red. They wear a blue dress. You need to watch them. You know, if you've read Proverbs chapter 27, they are in the streets, they are everywhere, they are on the corner, they are loud, they are forced, they are feet, they are never at home, they are engaged in all kind of activity, they are street walkers. And, and, and son, I want you to realize they, they, they will pull you down, they come a dime a dozen. And boy, before you get caught up in that kind of mess, in that kind of foolishness, you better shop around. All right. You better make sure you don't get caught up in those kinds of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in the adulterous woman. Don't get caught up in, in those who are going to pull you down. Don't get caught up in those who are going to destroy you. Don't get caught up in, in those who are going to make your life miserable. Don't get caught up in, in those who are going to derail you from your purpose and your goal and your vision that, that, that is on you, the call that is on your life. They are out there. Mm -hmm. And they will zap your vigor. What, what should you be looking for, son? Yeah, yeah. What should you be pursuing, son? What kind of woman will bring you joy, son? I want you to know something. Those women that will turn you on All right. in the wrong way, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. they're out there. In fact, in fact, I want you to know something, woman, a uh, uh, son. You, you've got to be in pursuit of a woman that fears and walks That's right. with God. All right. And so, son, I want you to know something. Verse 10, a woman of noble character. A woman that is upstanding. A, a woman that you will be you, you will be happy to bring home. A woman of noble character. And in fact, as he begins to write, beginning with verse 10 to the end of the chapter, it, it is an acrostic uh, a, 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 a point that begins with each letter of the Hebrew alphabet because he wants she wants to drill this in. She wants to drill this into his head. Says you need a woman of nobility. In fact, if you go to this woman, this word noble, upstanding, capable woman is found in a word found in the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 11. Ruth, chapter 3, verse 11. Says, Now my daughter, in fact, if you look back at verse 10, the Lord bless you, my daughter. He replied, the kindness is greater than that which you showed me earlier. You have not run after, young, after the younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. All the people of the town, 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 know that you are a woman of noble character. Yeah, yeah. All right. The word is out. She's to be respected. Mm -hmm. The word is out. She's not chasing any old body. Yet, she will be your crown, a woman that is capable, a woman that is upstanding, mm -hmm. a woman that people can respect, a woman that everybody doesn't view 
as community property. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Who can find that kind of a woman? And remember, she is a, a, a mother trying to instill some principles, some values in, in her son because, son, God has a call on your life. Son, God has a purpose on your life. God, son, God has so much for you in your life. And if you get caught up with the wrong somebody, Preach. it'll destroy you. That's right. In fact, son, if you can find that kind of a woman, her value is worth more than Ruth. Mm -hmm. Rather interesting that he doesn't say her value is worth more than diamonds. Oh, boy. Because although diamonds are a girl's best friend and although diamonds are precious and although diamonds are expensive, rubies are rare, you, you can hardly find a ruby and so as a result, he, he says, I want you to know that this is rare, this is precious, this is valuable, this is something that you ought not take for granted. Yes, and I want you to know, she, even though some people say rubies are ten times more valuable than diamonds, and, and rubies may be more, ten times more valuable than diamonds. Know what she says? She's worth more, more. Mm. Than, rubies. than even rubies. Wow. Son, I want you to realize that if you find the right girl, if you find the right woman, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you show up. Got you a crushes you. You've gotten and you've captured someone of that. Yes. Let me tell you something about this crushes jewel. This one who is of that. She's going to have certain qualities. She's going to have character. She's going to be a hard worker. She's going to be concerned about others. She's going to learn how to respect one another. She, she's going to prepare you for, for what's coming ahead in life. Mm. Yeah. Come on. She will be your shoulder. She will be a shoulder. Mm -hmm. She will be a helper like no, no. Now, boy, I know you out there, and you're going to look for a coat box. Boy, I know you're out there, and you're going to be more concerned about one that has it good on the outside. And let me tell you, don't get caught up in that stuff, because anybody can put a weave in the false ass Let me tell you what you need to do. Look for it. All right, teach pastor. And I want you to know something, son, as I journey you and walk you through some of the things. I'm not going to spend no time on the exterior. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Because the exterior can look good. Mm. But the interior can be messed up. Look, mm. look. That's why for those of you who try to buy a used car, you do well to take a mechanic with you. Yeah. Because see, whereas you're looking at it on the outside to make sure that it doesn't have any dents in the body, whereas you're looking on the outside to make sure the paint is tight, and as you're looking on the outside to make sure the leather interior is nice and everything looks shiny on, on the inside, a, a mechanic says, no, we've got to go deeper than that. We've got to go into the interior. We've got to lift the hood to see what's really going on on the inside. And many of us spend a lot of time looking on the exterior to make sure it looks good on the exterior, to make sure we can impress someone with the exterior. Exterior. Let me tell you, 
some qualities. She walks through, and as I said, she does it using the alphabet, walking through in the Hebrew alphabet, and giving him, because, boy, I want to drill this into your mind. I'm trying to help you, boy. I'm trying to help you, boy. I I'm trying to help you, boy, because you're the king. I'm trying to help you, boy. You're trying to lead God's people. I'm trying to help you, boy. You are a model and an example to other young men. I'm trying to help you, boy. She's a family woman. In fact, she's a woman that makes her husband look good. You've heard it said, behind every good man, there's a good woman. Behind every good man, that there's a good woman. And, and so notice what she, say, he, she says about that this woman that you need to be in pursuit of. The, the, the characteristics, verse 11. Her husband has full confidence in her. Her husband has full confidence. And as a result of her husband having full confidence in her, he doesn't lack yeah. Mm. Yeah. anything of that. Mm -hmm. wow. That which is important. Yes. He doesn't lack those things that really, really matter. Yeah. We like to feel good. But see, when you have a virtuous woman that her husband has confidence in, that he's go she's going to take care of the house. She, she is going to be a good person in the home. She is the best thing. Her husband going to go to sleep at night knowing he is sleeping next to the best bodyguard they ever knew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that she has my back. Yeah. In fact, listen as, as it goes on about, about, her, about her husband and her, how he feels about her. Notice verse 23, because of, 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 of being a woman that, that is committed in, in this relationship, of being a husband that is truly her help me, of being a woman that is right there by his, her side, that, that, that he has confidence and he can trust her. Verse 23, mm -hmm. because of her wisdom. Her husband is respected at the city gate mm -hmm. where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. How could that be? City gate was where they would judge, where the men would gather and they would share wisdom that they would share insight and people would stand in awe as men would speak. And, and could it be that as he would go home at night and, and share things with his wife, his wife would speak wisdom into him and, and he would go back to the city gate and, and share with others what his wife yeah. Come on, yeah. now. Come on. Come on. Right. told yeah. him at home. Mm -hmm. And as he would share with others the, those wisdoms, those nuggets that his wife would share with him at home. Maybe those men would see that, ah, boy, brother, you deep. Yeah, yeah. Boy, brother, you got it going on. Yeah. Not knowing that the wisdom that he spoke, he learned as he was in bed with his wife, mm -hmm. having conversations. Mm -hmm. Having deep conversation. Mm -hmm. Notice what else about this, this woman. This woman, it, it goes on about her relationship to her husband. Verse 28, her husband, the latter part of verse 28, her husband also uh, uh, calls her blessed and he praises her. He sees the value that he has. To his life. Mm -hmm. 
notice about this, this woman, this woman and her relationship with her husband. Verse 12 goes on. Notice she brings him good. She brings him good. She, she brings him good and not harm. And, and she recognizes that she is not a competitor to her husband. She compliments him. She brings him what is good. Yeah, yeah. She don't go around talking about you ain't no good and the reason why you ain't no good because your daddy wasn't no good and the reason why your, you don't know your daddy no good because your daddy, daddy wasn't no good. No. I want the best. I'm going to lift my husband up. Mm -hmm. you, you need to have someone and as this young mother, as this mother tells her young son that is a kid, you need to have somebody that's going to hold And she does that all the days of her life. Mm. Every day she's waking up. How can I make my family better? Mm. Wow. Thank you. How can I make my husband's life easy? Wow. It's hard enough mm. out there in a mean, nasty world. Yeah, yeah. Yes, son. As you shop away, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't just look at the boobs. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you better observe the brains. All right, boy, boy. That's it. Notice what she does. Notice how busy she is. And I want you to know, in this next section, he underscores she is busy, not a busy body. That's a difference. Mm. She goes out, she selects the best for her family. She selects wood and flat. And she works eager. She works with eager hands. What can I do? She is like a merchant ship. She goes out there to a special place, saying, you know what? I, I don't just want anything. Mm. Bring her food from afar. She not lazy. She don't sleep in late. She don't spend her time watching the soap operas. No, that she's busy doing what needs to be done. She gets up while it is still night, while the sun, and, and, and she goes out and, and she provides food for her family and, and she even takes care of her service. She's out there making sure that everybody is taken care of. That's right. Notice, she ain't out there blowing her bunny. You give her a dollar, she spends 10. <laughs> she considers. She, verse 16, considers. She, she thinks about it. She ponders a, a field and buys it. And, and notice that after, with the extra money that is saved, has she, and she has negotiated things. Mm, 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 come on. She has something to invest. That's right. She invests and is able to plant a vineyard so she can have multiple streams right. mm -hmm. of income. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My husband is out there working hard. But this is a partnership. Yeah. Yes, sir. This ain't no 50-50. No, no. This is 100-100. He, if he gives a hundred, I, I got to give a hundred too. When he's out there, make it in a dog eat dog world. Brother, I got your back. Mm. Because while the dog is eating the dogs, I want you to know I'm going to be eating the dogs too with you. <laughs> yes. Come on, man. We in this thing together. Notice, yeah. 
She takes care of notice. She buys a field and out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. Notice verse 17. She, she is a woman that sets about her work. She sets about her works. She sets about what she has to do. And, and she does it vigorously. She is passionate. Amen. You know why? Because I got a good man at home trying to take care of the family, trying to deal with mess out there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to let his world cave in on. In fact, you know why she can do that? Because she got good, strong muscles. Her arms are strong for her task. Yeah, yeah. See, bro, she ain't a weak one. Yeah. She, she ain't a weak one. She, she is a strong, she got strong arms. Yeah. She goes out there. She goes out there as it goes on about this particular woman. She sees, notice her trading is profitable. She sees that she is making a difference. She sees that she has a, a, a bottom line. She sees that she is working out in, in the black. Her, her, when she goes out, she ain't coming up in the red. And you know why? Because not only does she get up early, this woman stays up late. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her lamp does not go out. She's up there planning and thinking about how can I make things better. Well, everybody else in the house is sleeping and snoring and <laughs> catching their GZ. <laughs> She's busy figuring yeah. out how can I make my family better? Yes. Her lamp doesn't go out at night. Heck, she's working. She's working with her fingers. Not only is she a woman in an agricultural society, not only is she a woman out there planting, buying a, buying a, 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 a property and, and planting, not only is she a woman out there going to get the best for her family so that they can have the best meals, but, but know that she is out there working, making stuff. She's figuring out, not only do I want to plant stuff, and go get stuff. Mm -hmm. I can make some stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. Mm -hmm. She's a seamstress. Mm -hmm. and, and you may not know how to sew, mm -hmm. but you can do something. Can do something huh? Yeah. Besides just Keep mess going on Facebook. Mm, that's right. Come on. All right, guys. <laughs> See it. Notice. This woman. This woman is not self-centered. And just thinking about herself. And see, son, I want you to realize King Lemuel. I want you to realize King Lemuel. I want you to realize that when you are leading the kingdom, you're going to have those who have and those who have not. And the, the tendency is for folk to walk on those who don't have. But if you got a good one, a woman that is rare, then rule. Verse 20, she will open her arms to the poor. She extends her hands to the knee. Yeah. Amen. You see, because how you treat those who are less fortunate than you are mm. speaks for you. Yeah. Yeah. She respects people. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you're the janitor or the CEO. It doesn't matter if you're sweeping the floor or running a company. Mm -hmm. 
she respects both of you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. See, she is there selfishly, selflessly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. serving and helping and extending and loving those who are society's rejects. Mm. Yes. Tell you something, this woman is prepared. She's prepared for life. When it snows, she has no fear for her household. When a virus hits, she has no fears because she, she's prepared. She, she's prepared for what comes. In fact, she, she goes out and when it snows, it was cold. But you know what? She went out and got them the bath. Because she realized that tough times yeah. will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Grew up in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. My mother in our basement had a freezer. Large enough to keep about three, three or four dead folk in it. <laughs> That's how large the freezer was. And, and she would oftentimes buy a cow or a hog and just freeze it. Mm. Because, see, in D.C., she understood that, 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 that sometimes the snow is going to come. And, 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 and when the snow comes, the trucks may not be able to get to the store. But I got children. Come on. Come on. I got to think. Yeah, gotta be prepared. Gotta be prepared. We saw about her husband, but notice verse 24. She goes on as we saw about her ability to sew. She makes linen garments not only to cut, take care of her family, but, but she makes linen garments. It, you know, I got this thing down. I got this thing down. She makes linen, linen garments and she sells them and she supplies merchants with sashes. And, and, and as she clothed them and make sure that they got it together, you know what it's symbolic of? What's that, Pastor? That she is even clothed. Mm -hmm. She is clothed with dignity and strength. Come on, man. She is a strong sister. Yeah. Yeah. She is strong. And she is dignified. Yeah. All the brothers in town can't say I had her. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're mm. right. Mm. All the brothers in town can't say I know what she's working with. Mm. No, 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 no. Come on now. No, no. Yeah. None of the brothers in town can say. And those of you who are not cornerstone members, hit your, put your phone, put your thing on you. <laughs> they can't say I had a piece of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Come on now. Because she did it. Mm -hmm. She wants them to know it ain't for sale. Mm -hmm. So I didn't advertise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Say it again. She wants everybody to know I ain't for sale. For so I ain't advertised. And there are too many. She says, I want you to know, boy, I want you to know, boy, I want you to know, boy. You're gonna be a king. Folk gonna be looking at you. That's gonna be your wife. That's your first name. Mm -hmm. And if you're the king, she the queen. Come on now. That's right. That's right. She not only is strong, but she dignified. Mm -hmm. She don't see herself as some cheap. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And see, the reason I can be dignified, because I know who and whose 
mind. She can laugh at the days to come because I'm ready. I'm ready. Not that I'm overconfident, but I'm prepared. Yeah, yeah. Notice something about this woman. Mm. She ain't a bunch of foolishness going on. That's right. Because, see, son, if you leave in the country, there's going to be a lot of young girls running around. Mm -hmm. And you don't need a foolish woman speaking into the lies of young girls. Come on, Pastor. That's a good word. Good word. All right. Mm. Mm. This is a woman that boy, boy, and I'm trying to tell you, shop around. Don't go for the first time. Because, see, son, you are called to a, a level that there is a high standard. She speaks with wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know what wisdom is. Knowledge is the accumulation of facts. Wisdom is the application of that. Mm -hmm. Knowledge says I know how to get money. Wisdom says I know how to spend money. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Because she has wisdom, because she has lived and, and applied certain things to her life, because she has been around, She knows how to help other young women. Yeah, come on. She's like the women that Titus has called us to be, who instruct other women how to love their husbands, yeah. how to take care of their family. And boy, if you're out there shopping around, you better look for a woman. that has a head full of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. A good head. 